Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from GPAnswers.com, and today we're going to talk about troubleshooting Windows 7 and group policy. The good news is that with Windows 7, there's actually a lot more new stuff to check out. Um, you know, we talked about uh, group policy troubleshooting 101 in the last talk. Let's go ahead and take a look at some new items here. If you go to Computer Manage here, and I'm logged on as administrator to make my job a little easier here. There are uh, really several areas that you're going to want to uh, take a look at for core group policy troubleshooting. So uh, we're going to look right in the event viewer for, for things. And if we look at the Windows system log, that's the first big place. The Windows system log is uh, really where the action is at. Let's go ahead and uh, wait for this thing to do what it has to do here. I must have, I must have a lot of events going on right now. There we go. So you can see I've got a bunch of stuff, and hey, there's a group policy event, and there's an error right there, so let's go ahead and check it out. Windows was unable to determine whether new group policy settings defined by network admin should be enforced for these users of your computer because the computer's clock is not synchronized. See, that is a, a big problem. If your clock isn't synchronized, then you can't get Kerberos, and then if you can't get Kerberos, you can't get group policy. So that's definitely a big deal right there. But look, I got the error inside the Windows system log. That was the big point that I wanted to show you here, is that the Windows system log shows big, big events. And uh, there are a bunch of ways to sort on this, but if we just to, if we were to sort on the source here, that's a quick, quick way for us to do that. And we could find all the group policy events. Hey, good news, we don't have too many. Oh, there we go, <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, let's see if we can find the G category here. There we go. So there are lots, lots of group policy events. You'll also see that there's a regular, uh, you know, good news too. So in other words, if group policy worked correctly, you'll also in fact see uh, those kind of events uh, right here without any trouble. And you'll also see that I got new group policy there as well. So the system log is really the go-to place to kind of get started with that. When it comes to advanced logging, there's a new log and it lives under a weird place. It lives under applications and services log, uh, Microsoft, Windows, and then we're going to dive down under group policy, and it's called the group policy operational log. And here, this gets a little hairy, but you'll see that there's a zillion events here. Uh, and what you're looking at is actually millisecond by millisecond calls from Windows 7 into the domain controller, and it's walking in lockstep motion of what it's supposed to be doing. So uh, if you think you've got some kind of bigger problem, something that requires a lot more troubleshooting, you may want to check out the group policy operational log on the client machine that you're having the actual problem with, okay? Um, so for instance, uh, this machine, Windows 7, Computer 1, is having a problem, no problem at all. You just go ahead and go to the group policy operational log, look around the date and time where things aren't working, and you might be able to uh, kind of step through and figure out what uh, what might be going on and see see if there's an error in here as well. If there was an overall failure though, you would see that overall failure in the uh, the uh, system log that we just saw. But what you get out of the group policy operational log is all the steps leading up to that failure and it might just tell you what the problem is. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. Again, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com talking to you about Windows 7 and group policy troubleshooting. Thanks.